I have a very unusual job. I'm a chief medical officer of a totally contrived circumstance that trains doctors, nurses, medical students, and residents about healthcare so that they produce excellent outcomes for patients. The Jump Training Simulation and Education Center stands as the world's largest purpose-built healthcare simulation and engineering center. It resides right on the campus of St. Francis Medical Center in Peoria, Illinois, and it's very, very unusual. It's abnormal to have such a center located in central Illinois. Usually think about Harvard, MIT, and pairing clinicians and engineers in little laboratories to think about how they would conceive the next generation of devices. But that's not just how it works, and it certainly doesn't just happen in Palo Alto. It can happen here in central Illinois as well. I'm an emergency medicine doctor by training. That's how I went about my business. Went to medical school, went to residency, did my thing. But then I started seeing all the glitches out there in the healthcare environment. I started to collect these glitches and I started to propose solutions. And this is how I began my process. And then I found a remarkable tool. I found medical simulation. It's an entirely contrived circumstance where you can practice and learn and perform and exceed expectations. And it's not only that. It's a key to the future design of healthcare technology. Now, my kids were really confused. My kids came home from kindergarten, and they said, my dad's a doctor, and some of his patients are real. <laughs> and that's because a lot of our work derives it, its benefit from the use of actors and actresses or robotic devices, little humanoid devices that blink and breathe and carry on like a person. And they give our clinicians remarkable insight into their own behavior, their own performance. These clinicians, these highly trained, high-powered, highly intelligent, excited people come into my simulation center to perform under camera, under lights, to discover what they do well and what they don't do well. You know why they do that? Because they want to perform. They want the best outcomes for their patients every time they go to work. But we have things that happen, glitches, all kinds of circumstances that confound us. So in my journey through my life, I discovered this remarkable tool. And I realized that it wasn't just beneficial to create insight for clinicians, but I could create insight for engineers, brilliant young minds who think differently about my circumstance. And my contrived circumstance, my artificial reality, makes it possible for people like engineers to come into that <coughs> circumstance and understand differently. They design, they create, they iterate, and they perform. And they develop remarkable new technologies that change the way we do things. Your doctor wants the best possible outcome for you. Guarantee it but they just can't sometimes. Sometimes technology gets in the way. Sometimes the confounding influence of multiple stimuli get in the way. How can we design new solutions to bring that clinician from intention to outcome? We can do that with engineers. We pair clinicians and engineers in this fake circumstance and they get it done. Your doctor wants to know how to diagnose illness in you early and give you the best outcome. And we have remarkable technologies like ultrasound. Ultrasound now costs less than a laptop computer. Your provider could have an ultrasound in their office, but you know what? Residency training doesn't prepare a provider to do an ultrasound to diagnose disease. How can we solve that problem? Our engineers have developed a solution that's quite remarkable. Using three-dimensional printers, they were able to take clinical images, convene these into new models and molds to create portable, affordable, ultrasoundable technology that gave evidence to new technology and new competence for these clinicians. They were able to practice ultrasound in a lifelike way, in a way that gave them new skills to make new diagnosis, to make the most of their license, to make the most for you. 
We do that at the Jump Trading Simulation Education Center. We are very blessed. We've had remarkable, powerful companies come to us here in central Illinois to help us on our journey. And we're out there innovating. That's what we do. And we do it because your doctor wants us to. Thank you. <laughs>